Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and Wow oh wow wow. The Oriental the Oriental Land Company is really surprising us with awesome 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 news. First we had a first look at the Beauty and the Beast attraction. I'll link that video up above to details of Beauty and the Beast. I'll do a full POV reaction in about a week when that ride opens. And now the whole new fantasy land area has open to guests to walk through. I don't think any of the things, any of the attractions, I think they're all open April to, or September 28th, but the expansion area is available for guests to walk through, and thanks to some awesome Twitter users, this one at Sun, Shun Sukin, I think, hope I'm saying that correctly, um, provided, with a whole, provided us with a whole bunch of new photos, as today is right now, it's right now it's September 20th here, but it's September 21st in Japan, and they have these great new photos for us, and right now we're starting off with the Mini Style Studio. This is an expansion to Toontown. Um, this new area is opened up. It looks really great. It's gonna be uh, just a meet and greet area, almost like how Mickey's house is for us. Where uh, here at Disneyland Resort, you go into Toontown, you go into Mickey's house, and you can wander through the house and go through the movie theater and have a big elaborate meet and greet for Mickey. Just like with, uh, can you walk? You can walk through Minnie's, or you can walk in front of Minnie house, Minnie's house as well. Here, the Minnie Style Studio will be more like our Mickey experience. We can walk through the Style Studio, and at the end of the interactive experience, you can go ahead and take a picture with good old Minnie Mouse. This experience is supposed to be, I believe, oh, still opening on September 28th, probably with social distancing um, measures in place, but it's still anticipated to be opening on September 28th, which is about eight days from now, again in Tokyo about seven days from now. It looks great. It looks fantastic. It looks like it was just to be fit in. It looks very cartoony just like the rest of Toontown. Moving on to Tomorrowland of course we have the Happy Ride with Baymax also opening on September 28th. Not just that we have this new Stargazer supply store and the big pop shop, a special popcorn shop opening on that day as well. Here is just Stargazer supplies. Looks like just kind of a uh, futuristic themed kiosk, probably selling Tomorrowland merchandise, maybe Happy Ride with Baymax merchandise. I love the mer the architecture for this kind of Tomorrowland. I feel like the Disneyland and Magic Kingdom's new Tomorrowland should have this kind of architecture. It's like futuristic but kind of retro futuristic. I really like it. Reminds me of reminds me of the new Magic Kingdom arch for the Tomorrowland. So I hope when Disneyland eventually gets its Tomorrowland replacement. It goes in this direction. Here's that big pop um, shop, as we call it, and has again that really cool dome kind of style architecture. It's a fairly big shop, fairly big popcorn shop. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of specialized popcorn they serve over there. Moving on to the Happy Ride with Baymax. This is again the same ride system as Tomatoes here in Cars Land and California Adventure, and the. Uh, the Alien Swirling Saucers at Toy Story Land and Disney's Hollywood Studios. More closer to the Alien Swirling Saucers because um, it's covered and Alien Swirling Saucers is covered as well. And this actually looks to be like more covered than the Alien Swirling, Swirling Saucers in my opinion. But yeah, it's that type of whip flat ride which is more fun than you would think. It's actually really fun, especially if you lean into the turns and makes it a little bit thrilling even. So but that'll be nice for the kids and actually the entire family to enjoy to in Tomorrowland while they're waiting for their fast pass for Space Mountain and other Tomorrowland attractions at Tokyo Disneyland. Now moving on to the part everyone's been waiting for Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted and the Bells uh Bells Village. So this area looks like to be a meet and greet. Look, I assume this would be a meet and greet location for like Belle and Gaston, as you're in kind of in uh, Belle's village here. And look at that architecture; it looks so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and all the trees. It really looks like you're an enchanted, you're in an enchanted forest, or a village in an enchanted forest. Here's the entrance to um, the village. The two watchtowers there as you go in. And then you, again, the trees increase, and the I think that's a natural backdrop. I think those are real mountains. I think is it? 
<laughs> Someone comment below, because I've never been to Tokyo or Tokyo Disneyland, but way up top above the watch tower, are those real mountains? Or is that just like a backdrop? Because that looks really, it looks like, like a real mountain for Tokyo Disney, or Tokyo Fantasyland. I'm just not sure where Fantasyland is located. If it's located on the perimeter of the park and you can actually see those mountains or what. Same thing here with those trees. The trees in the far back, I think those are real trees, but they kind of look like a painting. So it's very interesting. But if so, if, it's, it are, if they aren't real trees, I think they are. That's fantastic theming, and even this lovely waterfall here, um, as you're traversing the new expansion area, it looks absolutely gorgeous, especially this next shot. I mean, look at this. This real, no, nothing's going on, no real traction, no meet, maybe a break, maybe a space for meet and greet, but, I mean, just look at those trees, and again, I still can't tell if those are real mountains or, a, like, a, like, a natural backdrop way behind those trees. Or if it's like a, a a themed backdrop, but it just looks beautiful. Um, a really beautiful place to walk. More into the village, we have the Forest Theater, which I assume will host well, a show or two. Um, I'm, I don't think it'll be a restaurant because it says theater, but um, probably have like a show and maybe a meet and greet outside as well. Some nice rustic or foresty themed trash cans there. Uh, they're propped open, of course, due to COVID-19. Um, you don't obviously want to be touching the trash cans, so they're nicely open. And this guest, this area, again, is open to guests, but all these attractions are just not open yet. Maybe some of the shops in the, uh, the village are maybe be open, but the attractions certainly aren't open yet. These credit, these next set of images, or these last few, as you see, are a credit to Aoi. I think I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yes, that was awesome on Twitter as they are heading into Tokyo Disneyland. And here's Gaston, and what I assume maybe is Gaston's place behind him, and a lovely statue honoring him right in the middle of the village. Looks fantastic. And lastly, what everyone's been waiting for, of that castle. This is obviously taken vertically on a cell phone. But there it is. There is Beast's Castle with the fog. And I see a massive extended queue line for the e-ticket attraction that will be opening in just just over a week. Or er, again, in Tokyo right now. It's exactly one week from today. But here in California, at least, even on the east coast of the United States, it's exactly one week. I'm recording this at 10.26 p.m. September 20th. So here in Los Angeles, it's still about a week. And a day away, but I cannot wait to do a ride through of that of that ride. Where I want to can't wait to see it. Do a trailer reaction or POV reaction of that um, ride with you. We can all react together. And I might do. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to do? I asked this in another video, but I ask this again. Do you want me to just a ride through and just a be me with the zoom? It could be a, a screen share and do like just a reaction video without stopping or should I do a shot-by-shot -shot breakdown, or should I do both, like where I can go scene-by-scene scene the queue and just kind of pause and get my thoughts and continue the video? It'll be a longer video, but it kind of might break up the um break up the flow of the video. So let me know in the comments below what you want my reaction to the POV to be, a uh, shot kind of a shot-by-shot -shot or a just re reacting in real time together. I cannot wait for that. In about a week subscribe for that by the way um i'll be doing it probably again it'll be the 27th here that povs will come out of the right there on the 28th so look for that about night time on the 27th subscribe for more theme park updates including potential theme park guidelines from governor newsom for california this week hopefully a lot of rumors swirling around universal is shooting either america's got talent or a commercial in my city block video which I'll link up above if you want to see that. That was yesterday. Um, a lot of interesting stuff happening. Um, I'm not entirely sure what what's happening, but hopefully good news. Hopefully good news. And then again, let me know what type of trailer or POV reaction you want below for Beauty and Chance of Tales of Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Thank you all so much for giving me my biggest subscriber in so biggest subscriber increase of at least of over 25 subscribers this week. That's fantastic. 
We're getting close to 2,000. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel and for watching this video. Subscribe for more theme park updates. As always, have a fantastic day.